likes decaf coffee? Nazis. Nazis like decaf coffee. Historically speaking. Uh, <laughs> maybe currently, too. They seem to be at large. So. I don't know what they like these days. Yeah. Uh, I Tiki torches. Oh, great. Yeah, actually, I was at the hardware store, and I was like, Should I want these. Oh, wait, no. These are bad now. <laughs> they ruin tiki torches. So now there's, sorry, no lighting. Uh, <laughs> um, actually, historically, the Nazi party of Germany loved decaf coffee, and it's a weird story. It started in the early 1900s, specifically 1905 in Bremen, Germany, that Ludwig Roselius, a former coffee roaster apprentice, discovered a method for producing a caffeine-free version of tasty, tasty coffee. And that happened when a lot of salt water accidentally soaked uh, coffee beans, and he decided to roast them anyway and see what happens. What they found was that it still tasted like coffee, but it now no longer had the, the caffeine stimulant at that time, and he marketed it as a luxury good. To luxury all of to just not have caffeine in your coffee, which is one of the it, main points that's of coffee. The main reason why <laughs> yeah. I want it. I mean, granted, I really do enjoy the taste of coffee as well. I, I'm a big coffee drinker, but uh, but if like I felt I was done with coffee for the day, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, let's drink some water. Sure. <laughs> sure, let's let's have a nice juice or sure. something. Um, but back in this day, this he created the coffee brand, and I'm not sure if I can pronounce it, Cafe Handel's Aktin Geschalt, better known as Cafe Hag, which we're going to call from now on. Uh, in the U.S., it was later uh, produced under the name Sanka, Sans Caffeine. And this fed in with a health and fitness craze of the time called Life Reform. And they had diets that swore off of stimulants like alcohol, tobacco, right. caffeine, um, certain kinds of food even. And they considered this to be like a natural, healthy way of life. So under the, the Nazi party, they felt that decaf was the healthy way to drink coffee because sure. it didn't have uh, caffeine in it, and they this became state policy meant to safeguard the Aryan race. So this coffee was carefully <laughs> monitored and distributed, and it wasn't given to Jewish people, other non-Aryans, uh, people who were homosexual, people who were sick. It was felt that they needed to preserve the health of Aryans with this specific kind right. of so, coffee. So everyone who is not Aryan is given regular coffee with caffeine, thus giving them the energy to take down the Aryan race. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> or specifically the Nazi party. Yes. Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, this was written about in the 1941 Hitler Youth Handbook. It was uh, very strictly regulated. Um, it wasn't really clear if uh, the Cafe Hag company itself was pro-Nazi, though Ludwig Roselius, the inventor of this form of decaf, by the way, did identify as a Nazi. Whew. So take of that what you will, he did support Hitler. Um, what's funny, though, about this is his version of decaffeination um, with the salt water uh, caused uh, caused Nazis to unknowingly poison themselves. Uh, this process left trace amounts of benzene, <clears throat> which is potentially toxic hy hydrocarbon. Today's decaf, by the way, does use a different process. So if you are a fan of decaf coffee, you are not drinking the benzene-laced version that Nazis drink. Um, and uh, so yeah. that's kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> what I call karma right there, you know, just... Commit genocide, slowly poison yourself with decaf coffee. I think more karma is necessary, personally. I would agree uh, with that <laughs> statement, but but you know, I'm I'm getting a small amount of satisfaction out of this, knowing mm. that the Nazi Party was slowly poisoning themselves because of an accidental run-in between coffee beans and salt water. Well, they thought it was healthy. And yeah. speaking of that, uh, Nazis also encouraged Aryans to eat chocolate that was spiked with meth to make them more energetic, perhaps from the lack of caffeine. Right, exactly, you can't have caffeine. So you know what, we're just gonna go with the next best thing, which is methamphetamine. So they didn't know that was actually bad for you. <laughs> oh, Nazis, you suck. Audience, do you like decaf coffee? Um, General Foods did actually buy Sanka from them uh, back in the day. I don't think it still has that kind of Nazi 
tainted. <laughs> right, but if you wanna be extra sure, just never drink decaf coffee and enjoy your life more. I drink caffeinated coffee because I'm a real American. <laughs> what do you drink? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.